Angry and pushing back, vendors protest after a popular street market is shut down, saying it will lead to a loss of income. With that, we welcome you to the Fox 11 News at 5. I'm Christine Devine. I'm Alex Michaels, and the Avenue 26 market is typically one that draws thousands, but is it apparently also drawing lots of complaints from neighbors? Phil Schumann, live downtown, where he spoke with protesters. Phil. Well, that's right. The uh, night market has been shut down. This is Artesian Place near downtown Los Angeles. You see the K-rails and the chain link fences up blocking access to that big, long street there. But that hasn't stopped some of the vendors from setting up shop right here on Humboldt Street because they say shutting down this popular night market was just the wrong thing to do. Open 26, a couple of dozen street vendors gathered outside L.A. City Councilman Gil Sadio's Lincoln Heights office this morning to voice their frustration and disappointment with the shutdown of this popular night market due, the councilman said, to increases in crime, underage drinking, illegal alcohol sales, noise, human waste left behind. It's a long list. Now, take a look at this video from YouTube. As you can see, it's become hugely popular seven nights a week, especially during the pandemic. Food vendors, tacos, pizzas, churros, barbecue, funnel cakes, ice cream. There were clothing shops, gift boutiques, and again, all this went on until the early hours of the morning. And then take a look at these photos that neighbors sent to Fox 11. They say this was often what was left behind, bags of trash, and worse, just trash just piled up against the fences, and just a deterioration on the quality of life. No neighbors say that they complained to the council office as we come back here live. Councilman Gil Cedillo said he tried to work with them, getting them uh, trash cans, um, no parking signs, and other types of services. But he says he's in support of the vendors trying to make a living. This was really about the increase in crime and other factors that led the residents nearby here to complain. This is not about that. This is about criminal activity that goes up till 2, 3 in the morning. Public drunkenness, illegal sales of alcohol, blocking emergency vehicles, that's not acceptable. And uh, hiding behind uh, uh, a taco vendor does not permit that activity to go on. Now, we had a chance to speak some of the vendors. Some have been here for years. Some of them relatively new about what they think about this sudden closure. Here's what they had to say. Help us out to all you city officials. That's all I got to say, you know, help us out, open, open up a new location, send us somewhere, but you can't just shut us down. Um, ideally, I would like to see our vendors get the justice that they deserve. We weren't announced that the street was going to close. All of our food, all of our merchandise is just being left to being tossed, and it's just unfair. Barely pay our bills with this. A lot of us lost our jobs, and we're just trying to look for a way out. You know, we don't want to be a statistic and, you know, live on the street just like everyone else. All right, so what's going to happen? Well... <laughs> The vendors are here unloading their uh, their stands from their vans and so forth. But again, the actual marketplace, uh, that has been shut down. The street where maybe a hundred of them set up each night. And talking about crime, Sadio cited a statistic from Hollenbeck Division of the LAPD. Crime up 500%. And you may remember that terrible story two years ago right here where LAPD officer Juan Diaz was shot and killed by uh, some alleged gangbangers. Who, for he, when he was trying to warn them uh, against uh, tagging this area. It's an ongoing problem. Reporting live uh, in Lincoln Heights, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. Yeah, and